Hello, this is Dis. Today we're on Food Fantasy, and it has been a while, I know. It has been a long time. I have not uploaded anything in two weeks, and that was because I have tons of footage, but it's way too much to edit in a timely manner. However, today there's a few events on Food Fantasy that I want to cover, so I can make a quick video and actually get it out in time, and I, I just didn't have time to edit all the other stuff with school going on. So basically, I finally got everything together, and hopefully I can finish my Hu Tao video and some other stuff. I'll try my best to get back to near daily uploads, or like two or three videos a week. I will do my best. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to take such long of a break. Enough of that, let's move on. I don't want that to take too much of the video. So, starting off, we have some really good rewards. Something I've never seen before, which is kind of crazy, because... Food Fantasy has been doing the same events for such a long time, so to see something new, new style, I, I don't remember this ever. Anyway, you can get really good rewards for like, one summon. So what you do in this is you summon, it's, it's like a summon exchange, but the rewards are kind of crazy. For one summon, you can get 250 stamina, that's, that's nuts. You can get 105 skin vouchers for three summons, that is quite the rate of exchange. Only 450 embers for a hundred skin vouchers? Wow. I, I don't remember ever seeing something like this before. And then you can do a couple for um, mirrors, but I wouldn't recommend really doing anything else. Uh, these shards probably aren't worth it. So yeah, you can you can kind of skip out on that, but but these down here, some of these are really good. For the Gate of Trials, we have Foie Gras and Mandarin Squirrelfish, which isn't loading, but yeah, you know. Anyway, the UR. Is, is Foie's already good? The answer is not really. Uh, is anything worth it on it, would, would I say? Probably not, because she's falling off as a unit anyway. She's not very powerful. Her charm is slow, and she's slow, her skills take forever, she's not the best unit, her arty isn't even that great in the first place, this is not something you probably want to do, and Mandarin Squirrelfish is an SR, I don't, I'm not the SR expert, I'm not the Omega free to play, like, if you, I mean, everyone, you can get URs pretty easily. No one uses SRs if you if you can avoid it. Like, most of them are inferior, so if you want to, you could, but I'm definitely skipping it, so yeah. There has also been a Harvest Diary going on for a few days. Um, it's still going on. You can jump in and do it if you want. I mean, you still have time. There's still almost eight days left. So yeah, that's that's easily enough time for you to get into it if you've missed out or you're interested, so there you go. There are also some new pools. This one, which I would actually say, there's some pretty good units on here. We've got Buddhas, and we've got Butt Tea, and while Butter Tea isn't very good anymore, I believe Buddhas is still really good, so I might pull on this if they add Embers. There is currently no Ember pull, so I would say to skip. If they never add an ember pull, this is definitely not worth it. Because why would you do crystals just for like this? This doesn't make sense. Why why is there no ember pulls? Please, Elex, give us an ember. And then this, uh yeah, you can't you can't even get this yet. So I don't I don't know what they're doing. They didn't even put the stuff in the game properly. This is obviously just a reskin of the normal pool. I mean <laughs> These are the, literally the same thing, but you just get rum and peaking more often, so, you know, I would just pass on those. <laughs> anyway, to get my free rewards, I just pulled on this one because I actually need rum, but I didn't get her, so it didn't matter. I only pulled a few times so that I could get some of the rewards, but, I mean, if if they add embers here, like tomorrow, it would, that would be a dumb decision because I'd be able to get everything anyway. So I would not do what I did. It's just that I get so many embers that I kind of said, you know, whatever. But if you don't get a lot of embers, don't do that. Just wait and see if they add embers first because they, they probably will. If they don't, I'm going to get upset. Also something to note, we got live skins for the, the most recent uh, skin gacha. Uh, Dragon of Phoenix and Cloud T now have live 2D skins. Sorry for missing out on Matcha, 
but I mean I did see everyone else in the food fantasy YouTube community kind of covering that and he wasn't like the most important unit ever so it's okay that I didn't get to covering him if you got him you got him if you didn't it's probably not gonna make a difference I didn't even get him very high ascended I kind of skipped out on him so I usually don't do that I did this time that if that doesn't tell you how unimportant he is I don't know what does I hope you all enjoyed this video I will be doing my best to you know make up for the time lost to compensate for the time that I was away I am going to extend the deadline that I want to hit my goal I was gone for two weeks I there's no way I can hit a thousand subs by the end of July so let's push it back one month we're now going to the end of August to hit 1,000 subs, only because, yeah, I was gone, and it, it did make a difference. We had no growth at all, and I would not expect there to be any when I'm not here, so that's my fault. But I, I, still think, I still think I can make up for it. So if you want to help me hit that, consider subscribing if you enjoy. I will be posting more Genshin and Food Fantasy stuff. I have no plans on stopping either. You might even see some random other stuff from me that you may like, so... Stick around, I, I might do some random things here and there, we'll see. Anyway, goodbye. Goodbye everybody.